Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the previous video, we have seen how to implement JSTL tags. We have explored all the tags like SQL tag, core tags, formatting tags, function tags, and XML tags. If you have not checked yet, do please check the video and try the demo programs. And then let me know if you have got any queries in the comment section. I'm there to help you out. In today's session, we'll talk about JSP custom tags. So this is one of the most important advantage of JSP. So we can create our own custom tags. So for that, we're going to use a directive called as taglib. And this is a directive tag and then taglib. And then you have to say the attribute that is URI. So here you, you need to pass the URL means uh, the TLD file tag library description or you know link to be specified here and then the prefix can be anything over here you can uh, you know write uh, whatever the prefix you want for example for the core tag we know that the prefix is c which is already defined but for the custom tags you can define your own prefix all right now uh, moving on we need to do three steps in the first step we have to create a tag handler class so in this class we will be overriding this part that means we have to extend the uh, simple tag support class and then we need to override this particular method that is do tag so this we need to do in a class all right and then in the second step we have to create a tag library descriptor that is the tld file we need to create and then we need to define the tags in inside that and in the third step we need to create a jsp file which uses these tag libraries and then which is used to print the output for us so these three steps to be followed all right in case for example you can see that the custom tag with the prefix ex the prefix can be anything i said so in this example i'm considering the prefix as ex okay and my tag name is hello so whenever i call this tag hello it should perform something okay so it might print something uh, so based on our uh, implementation it is going to you know just display the output for us so whenever you call the tag it will be printing something for us okay so what i need to do is that this is the first step we know that we need to create a uh, you know tag lib uh, sorry we need to create a class where we need to extend this simple tag support class and then we need to override this do tag method okay so for that i have imported a few packages um, import java.io and then javax.servlet.jsp and javax.servlet.jsp.tag extension ext okay dot star now inside the method uh you see this i'm using jsp writer just to print something right uh so i'm out dot print ln uh, I want to just display this particular text. Hello, custom tag. Okay. Now this is to be printed whenever I call that particular tag. That is ex hello tag. Means my custom tag. So that I have defined somewhere here. And this is my uh, TLD file tag library descriptor. And then you can see that uh, I'm using a tag called taglib and then tab taglib version JSP version short name and this is the tag like the f i have only one tag you can see that uh, the tag name is hello okay and then you can see that this my tags is my package name and then dot then i'll be referring to the class name that is hello tag so it is over here this is the class name okay and then and then after that there is nothing so this is what you have to specify in tag lib okay so here we have created a tag that means our custom tag name is hello all right now whenever this particular tag is called it is going to print whatever is there inside the class we know that this particular statement is going to get printed because this is what we have specified in the class okay now the third step is to create a jsp file all right and then we need to um, this is a jsp file where i'm using the pay, uh, directive tag and then taglib 
for custom tags and prefix equal to i'm setting some prefix for example it is ex and then the uri is the custom tag location i'm passing okay so we need to create this custom tag inside the web inf folder okay remember that the care should be taken while creating this custom tag that is tld file uh tag library descriptor okay now i i i didn't do anything uh you know um, extra that is i have just specified means i'm just calling the tag that means hello tag we have defined in the tld file right so i'm just calling the hello tag with the prefix which i have uh, mentioned here that is ex colon hello that's it now what happens it goes to that particular uh, file and then it reads the tag right and then within the tag we have specified the package name and class name now it is going to read that particular thing and then whatever is there in the class it will be executed that's it so what is there inside the class this is what hello custom tag is going to get printed for us so in this way you can perform many other tasks so this is a simple example to demonstrate how to perform or how to create a custom tag so now we can create a custom tag to print a date or else we can create a custom tag to perform any other tasks all right so now i'll just move to netbeans for the implementation part now you can see that over here let me close all those things the first step is to create the class so let me just show you the ppt again once so over here the steps so we need to create a tag handler class okay so let's get into that class now now you can see that this is my project custom tag jstl something like that and then within the source packages uh, i have the package name is my package and if i open this hello tag.java you can see that um, the packages and then the class name is hello tag and i'm extending the simple tag support class and then this you need to override do tag method and then i'm just going to print this part simple okay now what is the second step the second step is to uh, create a tld file tag library descriptor so where it is so we need to create that one inside web inf okay so now what you have to do is just right click on web inf new you can see that tag library descriptor for the very first time you will not get this so you have to go to other and then here you have to say tag library descriptor you have to specify the moment you create this it will automatically get into the let me create this for you you can see that it will create this folder automatically for you tlds and then the current file is here okay let me delete this because i don't want to implement this okay the previously created file is over here you can see that my tags dot tld tag library descriptor let me open this for you this is the second step so inside this you can see that <clears throat> um this is the library uh uh tag lib version um and then uh, my short name is my tags and this is the uri that is inside web inf inside tlds folder and then i have got my file name that is my tags all right now the package name is you can see that i have kept my name that means uh sorry the tag name is ravi and then i am referring to the tag class uh, class that is my package you know that the package name is my package and inside that i have a class called hello tag fine so this is what so my tag name is ravi here and then what is the third step the third step is to uh, create a jsp file let me open this jsp file custom demo so in this uh, what i'm trying to do is that uh, this step is most important so that i'm using taglib taglib is a jsp directive right and uh, it is used for custom tags and then uri to get the uh, location of my tld so again i'm passing my uh, location that is web of tlds and then my tags dot tld prefix can be anything here i'm addressing it as ex okay so then uh, i just need to call the tag what is the tag name that my tag name is ravi and then i'm saying the prefix ex colon ravi that's it now if i run this code and then it is going to it is it, it will get into this particular location and then inside this tld i have specified the package name and class name so now it goes to the class name and then it will execute whatever is there 
uh, specified in the class. All right. Now, uh, as I have a JSP file, uh, we need to specify something in the web.xml. Hope you are aware of that, what it is, uh, because we have done in several programs of JSP until now. Uh, we have uh, seen more than 10 videos, right? So, web.xml, I would have used welcome file list to start with this JSP file. Okay. So, if I open this web.xml file, you can see that this is the tag I'm referring to welcome file list. And then I'm saying custom demo.jsp. Okay. So, uh, at the very first instance, this JSP file will be executed and then it goes to this particular location and then it reads this TLD file and then this TLD file will refer to the class file and then the execution will be done. So that's how it goes. Now let me run this for you. Right click and then run. And you can see that uh, it is going to display I am custom tag. That's it. So uh, the tag name can be anything as I said. And uh, here you can change whatever the name you want. And similarly, here in, inside the class, you can, this is a simple example, a, example to demonstrate custom tags. So if you want to perform something like uh, to display date or, you know, any, any other tasks you can perform. I mean, if you want to perform, that can be done over here. Hope uh, this is uh, clear for you. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And in the next video, I'll uh, talk about CRUD applications using JSP. Stay tuned. Thank you and thanks for watching the video.